with my buddy B2 right there. And I just had to come on because I was scrolling through the U.S. Open scores and I see that Daniel Medvedev is already playing. The number one seed, the number one player in the world, the guy who won the U.S. Open last year, they have him playing on Monday at 11 o'clock. Now, I doubt it. Maybe he requested that time, but I highly doubt it. That, to me, is a very disrespectful time slot, and I don't think it's right. I think when you have the number one seed, he's also very entertaining to watch. He won the tournament last year, and you're putting him on basically first match at 11 o'clock when a lot of people are not even at the tournament. You don't give him a bye. And you say, okay, congratulations for being number one in the world. Congratulations for winning our tournament last year. So what we're going to do is we're going to totally disrespect you and put you on first match, 11 o'clock, U.S. Open, when barely anybody's there. Uh, you know, I, I hate to say it. I don't like to get political or into politics, but this to me just seems like another thing that Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, a lot of these tournaments are doing to slap the wrist of Russian players who have absolutely no say in what their country is doing when it comes to foreign policy. Just like any United States player, if they're gonna, if we get involved in something worldwide that people don't agree with, our players, I don't think, should be should be punished. So I think that this is not fair. You know, he wasn't allowed to play Wimbledon. Now he's playing the tournament that he won last year. And they're putting him on first match, 11 o'clock. Let me know if you think I'm overreacting to this. But to me, this is a clear slap in the face because he comes from Russia that they decide, okay, we'll play your, we'll, you can play our tournament. We're not going to ban you, but we're certainly not going to be celebrating you. We're not putting you on prime time. It'll be interesting to see when they start playing him on. Eventually, he keeps winning. They're going to have to start playing him on in prime time time slots. But I think when you win the tournament the year before, especially if you're number one in the world, you deserve to have a buy at the U.S. Open, and you also uh, deserve to go on when it's showtime. You know, most people, when do they love to watch U.S. Open? When does they have the most energy? At night. I think he should have had a Tuesday night prime time night slot he absolutely deserves it you know he's not at war with anybody i don't think that this is right let me know what you guys think you know uh what's happening in the last couple of years and i just want to make it absolutely clear you know i'm vaccinated i had to go to france i went to france now to go to france i had to get uh, vaccinated i had no problem with that but obviously Novak Djokovic has a problem with that. And uh, there's some dog here whining. But uh, anyway, you know, really all these political decisions are rewriting the history of the game. This year, the Russian players were not allowed to be represented at Wimbledon. So that had an impact on it, meaning that Medvedev, who's number one in the world, Medvedev, I think, I think the dog can sense that, that B2 is here. And so he's whining. But... Um, where was I going with that? You know, Medvedev's not allowed to play Wimbledon. Rublev's not allowed to play Wimbledon. You know, these are guys in the top 10. Novak Djokovic didn't get to play the Australian Open. He's not here at the U.S. Open. So this is really having a big impact on the history and the results of our sport. I mean, do you really think that if Novak is not allowed to play, would he go 0 for 2? Would he Would he? Go play at the Australian Open, not win that. Would he play the U.S. Open and not win that? Probably not. You know, the he got to play the French Open where he lost to Nadal, and then he went to Wimbledon and won that. If he was here playing the U.S. Open, it's like almost a 50-60% chance he's going to win the U.S. Open. Uh, the Australian Open, he's won that like 10 times. Now Medvedev, the, defan the defending champ here, they're putting him on 11 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. I don't think that's right. I don't think it has anything to do with the Russia. It's the Russia wanting the uh, Serena prime time. Okay, Serena prime time, but he's uh, you're going to put on a male player and a female player prime time. Why would Daniel Medvedev not get a prime time slot? Whether you're going to put him in on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, sometimes they, they put uh, 
high seeds as, as, as far out as Wednesday in the tournament sometimes. I think most players in this tournament are going to play Monday or Tuesday. I think Medvedev deserves to play, if he's the number one seed, the number one player in the world who won the tournament last year, guys. He won the freaking tournament last year and stopped Novak Djokovic from winning the Grand Slam. He is a big deal in tennis. He's a big deal in tennis, and they have him playing 11 o'clock on a Monday morning. I can't ignore that. That is a clear slap in the face. I don't see it any other way. If you've ever gone to Grand Slam tournaments, go look at the stands at 11 o'clock, especially on the first day. There's not many people there. I, I, it's hard to ignore, to say it's a coincidence, to say I'm making a big deal of it. It has nothing to do with anything. This is a clear to me stance like, you know, well, we're just going to make an opening statement, say we'll let them play our tournament, but we're just going to put them on a crappy time slot. I'm sure once the tournament develops and he keeps winning and becomes a bigger part of the story, you're going to see him play at night. I don't think they can go two weeks without putting them on at night, but I do think it's an opening around statement like Daniel Medvedev, even though you're number one in the world, even though you won a tournament last year, you're not important to us and we're putting you on at the worst possible time time slot. That's just my opinion. It might come out that Daniel Medvedev actually requested to play early in the morning on Monday, but I doubt it. Especially he's a showman. He likes to put on a show. He likes a crowd. So, I don't know. I just think bad move by the U.S. Open. I can't wait till all the politics are out of our sport. And again, you know, I, I, I am somebody who believes in getting vaccinated. I, I am all that. But when it, when it comes to the sport, I don't think countries' foreign policy should be involved if players are playing or not playing. And I don't think that, that it's, it's just not a good thing that Novak Djokovic is not here to try and challenge Rafa Nadal for the Grand Slam race. I mean, I know that's a bit of his fault. It's his choice. He could be here if he just breaks down and goes against what he believes in. But at the same time, when the, the actual danger of Novak coming over here and what he would do to the population of our country is, is non-existent. It's really not a problem if everybody just worked on getting them here. And I, would, I personally would like to see him play in this tournament. And uh, I would like to see Medvedev be treated with more respect in his first round match. That's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion. Comment below. If you've never seen me before, my name is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Subscribe to the channel if you love tennis, and I'll see you guys in the next video.